lot of people don't practice the sweep shot because they think they need to be doing it against bowling. But again, it's the pattern of movements that's going to be the most important thing for you to start working on right now when you've got the chance to be able to do lots and lots of these at your nets or at home. Now I've got that ball set up, I'd say probably about a bat and a half in front of me. And you can just get into the sweeping position to start with and work on how your hands need to flow through the ball. A really important point here is to make sure that you don't get across yourself too far. The reason for that is that you're now lining up this way, your legs getting in the way, it's going to be really hard to sweep. So a good way to think about it is your foot to just come on the just on the left hand side of the ball. That allows you to bend forward and get your head forward over the ball and then give your hands some room to sweep. So get into that first position first, here, and sweep. Now the key things to look for in this, number one, making sure our head does try and go as far forward as it can, that our front foot is coming just to the left side of the ball, and also that our hands are coming from high to low. We don't want our hands really low, because you're going to end up with a big open face hitting the ball out to deep forward square leg and you're gone. Foot just to the left side, hands up nice and high, get our head forward and finish all the way through the line of the ball. Okay, now one more drill, hitting off the cones. You've seen a ball that's been thrown up by the spinner and you want to meet it on the half volley to try and negate any spin or bounce. You want to try and charge down the wicket really swiftly with a really balanced technique. Now what I want to see from you guys when you're doing this drill is that you're still after you've hit the ball. You want to try and create a really good base when you're actually hitting through the cricket ball, not coming down the wicket in a really unbalanced manner and falling all over yourself. One of the problems I see with youngsters when they're batting against spin is that their first step comes out to the leg side. They end up just being too far away from the cricket ball and then they just have to slog. Okay, here I am setting up to hit the ball straight this way so you can see what path I take to the ball. I want to try and be as direct as I can, going straight to wherever the ball's pitching. That's where the ball's bouncing. I'm going to try and meet it on the half volley and hit nice and straight. Something I want you to try and watch is my head. I'm trying to keep that as still as possible so I can read a bowler's drift, their spin, what speed they're bowling. You need that head nice and still and nice and level. Tap my bat, set up, eyes nice and level. First really good positive step. And then nice and still here as after I've hit the ball. What else can you do with this drill? Let's hit through the covers now. Let's set that cone up a little bit wider. So the ball now, the spinner's bowled a wide ball and I'm looking to hit it in between cover and mid off straight out through to the boundary. My first step goes towards the bowler, second step in the direction I want the ball to go, nice and stationary after I hit it. Now I'm facing a leg spinner and he's drifted outside leg stump and I'm going to look to hit him through my wide mid on. So I've got that ball now on the leg side something to test yourself here is to make sure that your first step is going down the wicket and then you adjust to the leg side. Why am I telling you to do that? It's because your first step generally when you're coming down the wicket it really should be pushing as straight as possible. I said some of the mistakes that youngsters make is that their first step goes to the leg side and if an off spinner bowls the ball out there, they're way too far away from the line of the ball. So make sure that your first step is going down the wicket and then you change direction if you need to.